So good morning all. We are in the discussion of uh, Power BI service. Almost we completed 60-70% uh, in the Power BI service. And <clears throat> today we'll try to finish the Power BI service. And then after we can continue with the uh, like rest of the topics. Okay. So as we mentioned here yesterday, today we are going to talk with the what is a content pack what is the apps and then followed by security and then manage permissions here so let me log into power bi service so app.powerbi.com and uh, <clears throat> we have designed simple dashboard also we understand how to create the workspaces here and uh, this is the power bm may 9th this is the workspace which we created yesterday i mean day before day and at that as you can see the couple of two dashboards available one will be the copy another one will be the actual dashboard we have discussed everything how to create the dashboard and what are the properties available and left side what is a favorite and uh, workspace shared with me shared with me is nothing but if anyone shared any of the dashboard with me if i logged in i could be able to see here same like a google drive also and uh, <clears throat> yeah so in the settings also we understand what is the manage gateways and uh, embed code also is it done embed code i think yes converting into html file is it done or not bharat are you talking yeah mala i think we have to come okay okay no problem so let's continue with the as per our plan <clears throat> we'll try to understand what is a content pack okay so for that one let me create the couple of dashboards we have only two only two here and uh, we can make a multiple dashboards no worries so pin two dashboard new dashboard for example dashboard like it too i'm just giving now you will get as one more dashboard name here okay and going to test new report by pinning this also i need a couple of dashboard nothing else for example you guys know how to get the dashboards right dashboard three and all now listen carefully like this we have a multiple dashboard dashboard one dashboard two three and sales dashboard sales as per copy assume that like this we have hundreds of dashboard or at least 20 30 dashboards available in the within your project assume that so all 20 dashboards i would like to share with the respective person maybe you are one person or maybe 10 persons or 100 person doesn't matter usually i would like to share the dashboard with the others that concept already we have discussed so click on the dashboard whatever you would going to share it and right side there is an option called share button when i click on the share button you can enter email id and go to access button you could be able to see the after giving the permission you could be able to see here okay as of now nothing is there as of now nothing is there owner permission because i logged in right so if i give somebody else okay that person that person will be getting an email also yesterday i shown you by giving my gmail id i logged into my gmail id i got auto email also correct or not so now i don't want to waste the time so when do you go for the share option usually where is the share option no. okay here is there the first option would be let me make it today 
okay the share option already we discussed yesterday the next one is content pack whenever you want to share a single report instantly with the customer or stakeholders or business people then share option will be the better option whenever you would like to share the more than one report or multiple reports or that that case if you're going each and every report sharing of share time taking process we need to go for the content packs we need to go for the content packs listen carefully listen carefully i am just going to create the content packs so go to settings there are two options create a content pack or view content pack you can click on the view first okay you don't have any content packs it's clearly indicating you don't have any content packs so whenever doing the first time we need to create the content packs so also there are there are warning message introducing apps we are introducing the next generation of content packs so what is the meaning of this one the next generation of content pack is nothing but apps okay so it is giving like you know suggestion or warning message boss why are you trying to create the content packs already you have a apps why can't you use the apps so that app is nothing but left side as you can see here okay and we will discuss in a five minutes of time we'll go and discuss the apps first we'll try to understand the content pack so now go to settings again create the content packs so there are two options you could be able to say usually when you go for the content pack would you like to share content pack with any specific person or to the entire organization let's say i would like to share the content pack with my my manager only then i could be able to enter his email id i can't show you other email id okay i will showcase with only my email id only please try to understand assume that this is the email id you have to give to whomever you are going to share it if you want to share with your manager you, you have to enter your manager ID, email id here like this you can enter the multiple email id also multiple email id also you can enter it okay that is what about the share specific group sharing with a specific group for example i don't like to share with the specific people i would like to share with the entire organization so what is the meaning of entire organization see now it is not asking the user id password and all i mean i mean uh, email id and all if you go for specific username i mean specific group it is asking email id title and description the bottom there is a logo also where you can publish the image also and there is a one dashboard two dashboard three dashboard and four dashboard because in my workspace i have only four dashboards that's why it is sharing with the only i mean it's showing as a only four dashboards here if you have 100 dashboard if you want to share with the 100 dashboard then uh, it will list out all the dashboards here so first we will see one by one i'm publishing entire organization the title is okay content pack underscore sales uh, i will give you the today's timestamp 9th may 2018 so description something okay and the logo if you have any image you can download and upload maybe i'm not sure what is this image this is a default image uh, this is a simple image i downloaded from the google i'm using now so now let's say listen carefully when i select the sales amount see clearly it is clearly selecting these two reports as well and two data sets as well so which means whenever you are creating the content pack listen carefully whenever creating the content pack you are not only sharing the dashboard you are sharing the reports as well base reports and data sets as well data sets as well so that means you are giving the complete access to the person whomever you are going to share it guys listen carefully okay same like a share option only same like a share option you are giving complete your code data set reports 
and dashboard everything you are giving sharing with the other persons okay that is what about the content pack whenever you would like to go for more than one dashboard quickly see now just check back that's it because all are dummy dashboards right that's why it's not showing as a more reports here we have only three reports based on the only three reports only i designed this four dashboard that's why it's showing as a only three three reports here and only two two data sets here okay now i'm sharing everything and click on the publish button now right side as you could see here success the content pack has been published to the content pack library content pack library one second okay so the next one is where can i see my content packs if i created then i can go to the settings again view my content packs so it's clearly you could see here the content pack name is there i publish with my organization people whomever belongs to my company they can able to see the my content pack and the publish date if you want to edit anything for example you want to remove one one dashboard for for the published one then come here and click on uncheck this one click on the publish button okay so the next one is where can i see the content packs i published okay fine what to whom i have published i published to enter my company enter my company so what i need to give them so i am going to send an email for example so this is what my content pack okay i need to write an email to the people boss i given uh, i mean i created one content pack i created a content pack which contains three dashboards also i shared with the entire organization and this is what my content pack name you need to give the exact name you need to give the exact content pack name and then if anyone knows the exact content pack name they could able to they could able to get this content pack into their their uh, window what is meaning of their window whenever they want to access any power bi service report they need to log into power bi app right i mean power bi service so they logged in so where they can see means if anybody want to access this content pack they need to go to get data there is a option called my organization here my organization because whatever user id i am using this is a new user id in this domain whatever naru.info we don't have much user id got created as i requested i got this user id okay and uh, if you click on this one you may not be able to see anything here but this is the process listen carefully whenever you got an email there is a content pack available you need to go to the get data click on my organization get it so here everything will be visible everything will be visible i think this is the app here testing sorry content pack okay i think this is for the previous batch whichever i created so yours is not reflecting immediately which may take some time also i think uh, priya remember we were trying to create this content pack that time it was not visible am i right hello yeah so for your batch only <clears throat> i created this content pack but that time it was not refresh but now it is visible same way whatever i publish now it will come as a one more here you could able to see the same name here also and bottom maybe it is taking some time to refresh but that is okay 
so now let me try to refresh at least we will get it as an hour so we need to go to the workspace 9th may and uh, view content packs content pack underscore sales 9 so we need to go to the get data get it okay fine so you will get something like this <clears throat> something whatever the window is there right you can search like this also even <clears throat> content pack something because it's not there anything right now we need to click on the my organization then click on the search version content you will obviously will be able to find it so now what you have to do select like this and get it now okay so this is what the previously i shared one so report two and uh, report names and all if you open this one you could be able to see the reports here anyone has any questions so until now how to create the content pack once you get the content pack we need to give the maybe we need to go to our workspace first So view content packs. We need to give this name to the respective people. Anybody from this organization, they could be able to, they could be able to see your content pack. They could be able to content pack if they have the proper privileges, proper permissions. That is what about the content pack now. Now, listen carefully. There is a one more concept here, which is advanced for the content packs. First one is a share option for the individual report. Whenever you want to share the multiple reports, you can go for the content pack. And uh, next one will be advanced for the content pack. This is also used to share the reports uh, dashboard with the respective persons. Once we understand the apps, then you will get to know what is the slight difference between the content pack and apps. First, we'll try to understand what is apps. So now, it is still converting okay so now go to the apps there is a apps concept here left side as that as you can see the apps now okay there is a only one app is available which is created maybe a couple of days back now what i want to do i want to create a one more app if that is the case get the apps now I'm sorry there is a publish app should come give me a minute there is a publish app admin portal no Okay, fine. I think we can get it from um, content packs. Okay. I'm not getting that option. Usually it's supposed to come publish app here. To... Click on the one second. It is going to different one, no dashboard, no reports. This option I'm trying to looking for create and publish app is coming for the different uh, workspace. If you go to our workspace, yeah, now it's coming. 
I'm not sure why it was not coming earlier. That's okay. So publish an app and create an app first. So we don't have anything under our uh, this one, right? So if you click on the apps and click on the workspace, now we could be able to see the right side. So I'm repeating, go to workspace, go to our workspace. Then right side, you could be able to see the either create or publish app. If you have the app already, you can publish it or you can create first. Dashboard report and data set and streaming data set for example i'm using the da dashboards i'm going to create the oh, dashboard name i'm extremely sorry we need to publish it sorry so this create option for the everything not only for apps you can create the dashboards report data set and streaming data set now click on the publish app so now as you could see here under detail nothing is there some description you need to give for example so creating app with sales dashboards so now go to content what is the content you are going to have it so as you can see here these are the specific content or none none means what will happen nothing will be shared with this app what are the app you are creating nothing will be created now content go to specific content you, you have a drop down here we have a drop down here for example sales dashboard for example sales content that will be published so now as you can see here the content that will be published all the dashboards available here and reports available and data sets available but out of those I am sharing the specific content that content is nothing but like uh, sales dashboard that is the main dashboard right now click on the access so to whom you are going to give the access for example if you want to give it to one if you want to share this app with the one particular person now what you can do you can click on this one you can click on this one and you click on the finish button so I'm repeating once again we need to go to the details tab initially we need to give some description okay and if you want to change the background color as you can see top here it is getting changed then content what you are going to share it specific content means it will allow you to select your drop down none means nothing will be shared with that particular app then access means to whom you are going to give the access one person or multiple person or entire organization or enter organization so if you go for the enter organization you no need to enter any email id here now click on the finish button publish if you want to copy the url or go to the app also so this is what about the apps now see this one we are in the apps window and uh, this is what our app name this is what our dashboard which got sh shared now repeating once again if you go to somewhere else and come back to the apps now you could be able to see the one more june 8 june 8 today's date power bm may 9 2018 okay so now now whenever if you're giving this name to the respective person they could be able to download it correct or not so both are either content pack either content pack or apps okay if you're sharing with the organization level if you're sharing with the organization level you should remember this name what is the name you are giving this name you need to share with the respective users keep in mind doesn't matter either content pack or app and uh, now listen carefully I'm just going to app now okay click on the open button okay so now dashboard they could be able to see here when I click on the this particular what is the difference between content pack and apps good question I will come back sir so now <clears throat> listen carefully when i click on this one is going to is normal yes the app also is working as a normal dashboard only for example 
I am going to our dashboard now click on the sales dashboard here Okay, now I would like to go to this particular page like a donut chart when I click on this one it is going for the it is going for the Child report now same way. I'm just going to app now Open the app from the app now scroll down now open the same donut chart. Is there any difference? Can you please tell me there is a slight difference here. I don't know how many of you observe when I go to create content pack the bottom there you could see here there you could see here when I select any dashboard is automatically getting selected reports as well as data set will you agree or not but when I create in the apps when I create in the apps is it is it are we uh, sharing the data set anywhere hello dashboards are showing here reports are showing here but it is displaying here see whatever showing here it is available whatever in the my uh, total dashboard total reports and total data set but do we have option here to share the data sets or not it dashboard in the bracket as you can see report 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 and then dashboard so which means we cannot share our complete see data set is nothing but our table name right table name and column name or measure or dimension what out maybe if they have the data set access can't they make a one more measure or can't they make a add extra column or remove extra columns obviously they can do right whomever you are trying to share it but if they don't have the access for the data set whatever you are giving whatever you are giving they can able to just view it that's it i will if you want i will showcase if you want i will showcase so the what is the difference now the content pack content pack will have everything like uh, dashboards comma reports comma data set but apps is nothing but okay apps is nothing but can share either dashboards or reports not not data set so that means we are not allowing others to do the changes on your reports but keep in mind either share option or content pack if you're sharing they could be able to i mean again in the share also you can restrict there is an option to uncheck the checkbox right they cannot share with other persons but they can modify it so that is a major difference so when do you go for the apps next question will appear correct when do you go for the content packs the answer is very simple okay so assume that if you are a developer okay you would like to you would like to share your workload with your colleagues workload with your teammates or assume that you developed something maybe your five or five reports you develop one dashboard is ready but still there is some requirement is keep coming and going so what you can do you can share everything with the content pack or share option with your colleagues and you can go for the vacation you if you go planning for the vacation leave then wherever you are sharing he could so without any problems he could be able to continue because you are sharing with the data set also you could be able to modify it okay but now assume that dashboard is ready i don't know where is going so dashboard development is completed and uh, 
you would like to share with business people like to share with the business persons business see assume that your everything is done development is done so you are trying to move the dashboard to the production then what you can do create a app and then give the access to the persons whom are you trying to share you can give the access to the that particular apps so to be simple whenever you want to give the read access to anyone or they don't want i mean you don't allow others to do the any changes on this one go for the apps but whenever you you are giving complete rights your code data set and report everything then go for the content pack and share option the only difference between the share and content pack is share will take a time to share the one by one but if you go for the content packs you can share the multiple reports this is very 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 important what is share option apps dashboards and uh, what are the difference between the apps and when do you go for the apps when do you go for the content packs i hope i'm clear hoping everyone also clear by these three topics <coughs> if you have any questions let me know okay so the next topic is the next topic is this two is done and uh, manage gateways all done and admin portals so usually this is for you know licensing part licensing part probably a premium or probably embedded here you may not be have access in the real time maybe until unless you have complete administrative privileges if you part of uh, administrative privilege in the admin portal like uh, power bi service then you could able to change this and all but anyhow i don't have much idea on this part so you just ignore it and uh, manage gateways already we have discussed and the settings but if i it will go to the like for example the same window see this one new revision process the revision process right if you go to our uh, what do you call this one Work, workbooks sorry workspaces so here also whatever the window is showing this is also will appear if you go to simply settings here i think we are in the different settings now because i went to the different page right so usually if you go to settings you could go to the privacy settings and languages close the account these are like admin kind of settings develop enable developer visual for testing and even uh, this one all is just ignore it dashboard what are the dashboards available in our particular workspace and uh, there is a data set concept only two data sets available as of now two data sets available as of now and uh, everything will be alerts we don't have any alerts at the moment and we don't have any subscription at the moment because yesterday i was trying to create the subscription but uh, by default will be the single user like uh, whomever creating the dashboard they should have access or email alerts or subscription by default but as i shown you yesterday uh we have one second there is subscribe option yeah go to dashboard subscribe option so this option they given as a like more you know instead of not only for the whom over creating the dashboard even the subscription will go to the other persons as well enter email address that is what i have explained yesterday and uh, we need to spend a couple of uh, you know because it's a new feature recently added you need to spend some more time on this and try to understand as of now as a, as i said i don't have any other email id i cannot share with others now okay but uh, 
now let me try you will also send an email whenever the data is updated but no more than the ones for frequency selected so subject is okay let me try yesterday we were not able to sh shave and close it also give the access to this dashboard subscription set okay so this subscription and uh, if you go to the settings level there is also subscription will come into picture there okay so now it is showing here one subscription available because one report has been subscribed so if you want to edit again you just come here click on the edit option the same dashboard too if you would like to share with somebody else so for this dashboard any new records added new data has come or updated any changes happens on this particular dashboard level we will get an auto email that is what about the subscription so the next one is we covered this step almost everything except manage embed course and this is the settings option nothing is there and this is like whenever you want to sign out you can click on the sign out option this is a help button and dashboard level also we understand everything almost all the features so we have three options only only this option pending only we will try to finish today itself okay so embedded option so now we can convert to you know we can design the any dashboard sorry we can go to the any data set any data set for example pbi 6th june 2018 go to the file i'm sorry we need to go to the report go to the page what which are you won't like to navigate and go to the file option there is an option called publish to web here publish to web option so i think we discussed rest of the properties except publish to web i'm not sure did i explain or not so anyhow so since i'm taking multiple batches so i'm getting confused so publish to web option is nothing but listen carefully till now what are we understand either app or dashboard or share option or content pack whatever it may be whenever sharing with the users at least they should have the proper access then only they could be able to view the dashboards and also when i go for the content pack we are giving the complete code will you agree or not even when adding the apps button <clears throat> i mean whenever anybody wants to view the dashboard with the help of apps or content pack or share option they should have the proper licensing and sometimes what will happen you know sometimes i don't like to allow others or third person sense to view my uh, dashboards my I mean, I don't, I don't like to give the permission for the people to log into Power BI service and then view the reports. But instead of that one, I don't like to allow others or third persons to view my reports or dashboards or datasets or datasets. Then, then I can able to create. embedded and share with the others okay this also a little bit important topic so that is what about the embedded now we are going to see next 5 minutes or 10 minutes of time how to create the embedded report and share with the users or anyone you can share with anybody and if you see the output you will understand okay okay fine so now go to the report so as i told you we need to go to the respective 
like uh, workspace click on the report which are you trying to convert as a embedded go to file option publish to web so now as you could see here create in public websites and if you want to see how many reports already have been converted as a like uh, embedded then go to the settings option manage embedded course so nothing is there nothing is there but i think uh, if you go to other workspace maybe 8 pm we supposed to have one embedded if you understand correctly yes so as you can see here because for the previous classes i used to create an embedded code and i used to publish in this one that's okay fine so because so now i i, I hope you guys getting the uh, i mean frequently i'm changing the workspace then you are trying to understand what is happening here see workspace is nothing but simple folder here simple as in that in the c drive there is a one folder for you another folder for your friend another folder for the for example if the three people are using the one laptop so instead of creating the one folder why why can't we create the three different folders and use individually so if you're creating anything in this particular folder this guy cannot be able to see right if you're creating something here and this folder will not affect correct or not same way whenever we have the like module wise reports you can go for the creating the like different workspaces so again depends somebody will have the access for the workspace somebody will not be having the access for the workspaces okay all right so now let's go to our workspace already we are in our workspace only go to the report file publish to web create embedded code yes click on the publish button now you can copy the second option this is the link okay where you can copy and let me try in the browser and enter it it is going to microsoft website see now that link is alone enough you can send a email to the any person not only for any person for open this link i don't know whether this uh, we will test it i'm just pinging here let me know how many of you can be able to access this one can you please click on the links please i sent you in the chat let me know if anyone able to view the report or not Bharat A, are you able to hear me and able to understand? Yeah, some more. Yeah, Bala. Yeah, Bala, I am able to see the report. Super, super. Now, even you can navigate the bottom. There, you can see the five of five. Go to the previous page. See, the screen is going to maps. We have five pages, right? now tell me what is the difference between content pack and embed code when do you go for the embed code if you don't have access also we can go with embed code right yes yes any other scenario where you will go for the embed code i sent it again usually if you remember if you remember uh there are uh, every quarter revenue will be discussed maybe a tcs got 15% uh, profit last quarter and for details please refer below link something like this they are publishing into the their websites i'm repeating whenever something they want to publish in their websites they can't publish complete code right whatever the code they build whatever the report they trying to publish it they can convert it and that embedded code they have to merge with the, any of the websites so that is the one scenario like uh, in the websites usually they can convert a html code and that html code they can you know uh, use us with the help of apis or whatever it may be and uh, wherever they require they can use it for example 
whenever you are not trusting with uh, somebody else let's say let's say you want to give the presentation you want to give the presentation to the somebody else then uh, you can convert into web and you can give the this one there was a one interview question on this topic even whomever there in the group my whatsapp group they know already like uh, for example today i given this link to the you people okay so now on the back end it can be a table or excel file doesn't matter i deleted for this three country information listen carefully i deleted data and uh, when i come to here power bi service when i come to power bi service simple uh, everyone knows that if the back end data is refreshing what you can do we can go to the data set right click and you can click on the refresh now obviously this data also will be removed from the power bi service if you have the proper gateways everything will be taken care the my question is whatever the embedded code which we got created will this affect this also or not you got the question priya okay if anyone knows the answer tell me so obviously whenever something goes changes in the data level we need to click on the refresh button if you click on the refresh button doesn't matter power bi desktop or power bi service it should reflect data my question is will it reflect the power bi embed code also for example already i shared the link with you guys even that link can be lifetime access tomorrow also you can open it when you click on the tomorrow as i said are this three country data will be deleted or not so take it as a homework and let me know tomorrow okay so whomever don't have the access i given already user id password for uh, whomever requested anybody want user id password let me know on the whatsapp personally so the next topic is the next topic is <clears throat> i mean even you can share this code for example i missed that one so go to settings manage embedded codes again you can copy the code get a code now so bottom there is an option called html code and i will paste into notepad <clears throat> go to file save as you need to select as a all document and uh, what is my report sales dashboard dot html save button close it now close it now go to desktop see this one sales dashboard now right click see link can be we may forget right so now this one the file we are saving as a file format by default going to fifth page because at the time of creating the code i was in the fifth page so now go to back button is it going or not it is not going okay so here also see the focus mode back to report and this also there is a share option is there you can share with the url and copy with the facebook or linkedin wherever you want to send an email you can share it now page number 3 it is loading still so that is what about this so now close it this file alone also you can send it to whomever you want to send either share with the link or you can share with the the file i mean is showing as a browser file the file extension would be html file now the one topic is which is pending that is called as a share option sorry security option the security option <clears throat> i don't have any row level security or <clears throat> okay fine so it is important topic so what we need to do 
we need to create a desktop i mean we need to log into desktop first there we have a manage roles manage roles and create a roles also available we need to create there and then we need to publish it then only the roles will appear here unfortunately i don't have any roles so i have a role for the different workspace if i take that roles then you will get confused so freshly tomorrow okay you will understand no hurry here so only pending is security and then um, manage code so if you open power bi desktop it will go to another half an hour so tomorrow as a first 15 or 20 minutes of time i will try to complete the security and manage permissions okay then after we will continue for the rest of the topics so the next process would be there is a ssas tabular model is available so you may be you guys might be thinking what is this ssas tabular model don't worry i will explain <clears throat> this will take a one hour topic followed by the dax expressions dax expressions so minimum it will go another 10 hours minimum if you completing daily one and a half hour it will go minimum seven classes <clears throat> okay so if anyone has any hurry they want to finish as soon as possible i will give the another drive access <clears throat> but uh, if you want to have the free time and you will listen without any issues you can continue the same batch so that's all for today we can continue tomorrow saturday as of now same timing only eight o'clock if any changes i will let you know that's all from me see you tomorrow